Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So this will be a quick little update for you all. Uh, you will have probably have seen um, some of what we're going to talk about today, the most important part, which is of course that I'm planning to do a giveaway on my uh, high wind amplification direwolf. Only because, as of today, my direwolf Mark II showed up. So of course I'm about to do a whole bunch of content with this, but um, the direwolf has always been one of my favorite pedals. and. I saw this as a great opportunity to both continue to support one of my favorite companies and to give back to you guys because obviously if not for you all there wouldn't really be much point in me even having this channel would there so yeah um detailed descriptions will be in the description of this video but essentially what you're going to do is just shoot me an email uh with the title uh direwolf giveaway one email per person and i'm going to randomly give it away to one of you who shoot me that email so I've done giveaways in the past. This is totally separate from that. This giveaway is only going to include those people that shoot me that email. So in the email, I need to see, like I said, just the subject needs to say direwolf giveaway. You need to include a picture showing that you're subscribed to this channel. And after that, you're entered. And like I said, only one email per person. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, uh, just as a quick little update in terms of what's coming to the channel. So the main thing I want to do uh, shortly is to compare the uh, Direwolf Mark II with the KSR Eros, two super great overdrives. You can't really make a bad choice between them, but I do want to show the differences between them. I also just picked up the ISP Theta preamp pedal uh, from a suggestion on this channel. Thank you for making that suggestion. It is a really, really thick pedal. Um, I think it's for sure going to give the series a, a run for its money. Um, I also just picked up the Empress Heavy which I feel meh, not as uh, excited about, but it does seem to sound pretty good. So, I mean, it'll be fun to check it out and all that before it goes to my reverb page. <laughs> Thank you all for supporting that as well, by the way. Um, I think I'm becoming a little bit, uh, I won't say addicted, but I'm really liking the feeling of like bartering and selling and buying stuff on reverb. It's a pretty cool thing. And it also helps keep this channel going. Um, other than that, as you can see, we have a mic now. That's gonna actually hopefully increase, not only increase the uh, audio quality of what, what's on this channel, but it should help me edit a little bit faster too, because I won't have to do a whole bunch of cutting out of the audio on the back end. Other than that, I think my last cool update is that I'm just really, really appreciating the Boss Waza tube amp expander. It's making me feel a bit more official here, because now, between that and the Axe Effects, I feel like I'm actually in a studio because with the click of a button, hopefully soon the step of, on a foot switch, I can jump between y'all hearing my preamp pedals running into the tube amp expander, which I just found out is also a power amp. So that takes care of, all my preamp pedals are gonna sound better now because it, I won't have to use power amp emulation. The tube amp expander itself works as a power amp and it makes the series and all these preamp pedals sound really great. But yeah, I can jump between the preamp pedals Amp 1, Amp 2, and obvious Axe FX models. So um, the comparisons that I have planned, I think are gonna run a lot smoother and it should just be a good time. So yeah, again, not only with this giveaway that I'm doing, but I just want to, again, specifically thank each and every one of you that watch these videos, particularly those, want, those folks that subscribe. And if you watch my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please do and enter this contest. Um, I really like being able to do stuff like this for you all. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. I have a little bit of option paralysis in terms of what I want to work on tomorrow for a video for you guys. Um, so if you have any suggestions or requests, drop them down in the comment section and we'll talk about it. But yeah, you guys take care.